I saw what? It's your homeboy gets like while hitting you up with another video. Today we're gonna talk about the Josecito Lopez versus Canelo Alvarez fight that's coming up September 15th. Another big motherfucking fight that's going on September 15th. Of course, the other fight is a Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Sergio Martinez, which is also gonna be a motherfucking classic. I gave you my prediction on that fight, now I'm gonna give you my prediction on the Canelo Alvarez versus Josecito Lopez fight. I'll start off talking about both fighters and now give you my prediction. I'll start off with Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez, I enjoy watching Canelo Alvarez's fights. I think he's a solid fighter. Although I do believe that a lot of us Mexicanos, as far as the casual Mexican boxing fans, uh, you know, they, they've overhyped Canelo, as well as, you know, like the Spanish media and like, you know, HBO and Showtime, you know, where he's fought. Uh, they really hyped Canelo, you know. Like I said, I enjoy watching his fights, and I do believe that he has the potential. He's still, you know, he's a very young fighter. He has the potential to become something great, but I wouldn't call him great right now. You know, like a lot of, you know, another, uh, other Mexicanos are doing. And, uh, you know, just like when I talk about Chavez Jr., the truth about him, I had a couple of people talking shit, and uh, I don't know if people talk shit because uh, <laughs> I'm saying this about Canelo. You know, I do believe he's overhyped, but like I said, he has the potential to become a great fighter in the future. He's definitely progressing far faster than Chavez Jr. was at his age. Uh, as far as his boxing ability... There's nothing that really stands out about Canelo Alvarez. You know, he doesn't have blinding speed or, or one-punch knockout power or great, you know, defense. He doesn't have, like, stunning footwork or anything like that. But at the same time, he, he does all of those things well. He doesn't really have any big flaws. Uh, I would say that his defense at times is a bit, is, is a bit suspect. His chin really hasn't been tested yet. So his chin is a bit suspect because we haven't seen him take a huge punch. Will that happen with Josecito Lopez? Most likely not because of Josecito Lopez's size. This fight, Canelo needs to win. Canelo has every single advantage in this fight. He has a size advantage, a skill advantage, and he's just overall a better fighter. And if anything, Canelo has more to lose in this fight. Uh, a, a fight, a, a loss in this fight would be devastating to someone like Josecito Lopez. As far as Josecito Lopez goes, I mean, what a story. You know, most casual boxing fans first heard about Josecito Lopez when he beat the shit out of uh, Victor Ortiz. Cracked that motherfucking jaw, had that motherfucker like, ah. Quit. Took his heart. Fatality. Like fucking Kano. Got him, coach. And he just blew up. It was like, you know, it's cliche, but, you know, it was like a Rocky story. And this will be even even, uh, even bigger feat if he's able to beat Canelo. When he fought Victor Ortiz, you know, Josecito Lopez was moving up and wait for that fight. He's, he's a 140-pound fighter, and he, he moved up to 147 to fight Victor Ortiz. As, of course, you know, Victor Ortiz was originally supposed to fight Andre Berto, but Andre Berto, you know, he started taking them, them Flintstone vitamins. They got HGH up in them motherfuckers, and he ended up failing the motherfucking test. Josita Lopez stepped up to the plate at 147. He moved up in weight, and he was able to win. Part of the reason why he was able to survive at 147 was because, you know, Victor Ortiz himself was a 140-pound fighter not too long ago. This was really only his... His third uh, fight at 147 pounds, so he was really just getting into that weight. Now, Josecito Lopez is going up another weight to fight Canelo Alvarez at 154, and I, I think it's, it's just going to be too much. The, the size advantage is, like I said, I mean, Canelo Alvarez has all the advantages, and Josecito Lopez gave him all the advantages in this fight. And, you, you know, you have to, you, you have to commend Josecito Lopez for, for having that kind of heart. He's willing to fight uh, Canelo un under all those uh, circumstances. He knows that Canelo is is a, a a better skilled fighter. He knows that Canelo is is naturally bigger. 
He's going to be stronger. Of course, Josecito in his weight division was a powerful fighter. But going up two weight classes, I don't think that the power is, is going to carry you know, onto the 154-pound weight division. I don't think that he's going to be as effective at 154 as he was at 140. Uh, of course, you, you want Josecito Lopez to win in some ways because he's the underdog. But at the same time, like I said, I mean, I do like Canelo Alvarez. I do like his fights. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's one of the fighters to watch in the future. And this would be a devastating loss. I mean, so, I mean, you don't want to see him lose to Josecito Lopez. But again, you know, Josecito Lopez is the underdog. So, you know, uh, if my prediction is that Canelo Alvarez is going to win the fight. You know, I think that Canelo may end up even uh, knocking Josecito Lopez down in the fight. I do believe that Josecito Lopez's heart is going to be able to carry him throughout the 12 rounds, but I wouldn't be surprised if Canelo stops him just because of the sheer size advantage that he has. But it's going to definitely be an exciting fight to watch. Josecito Lopez is going to give it everything he motherfucking has. And while this won't be a big test for Canelo as far as seeing if he's truly a superstar, this will be a test nonetheless to see what kind of heart he has. Because if if uh, if there if Can Canelo is ever going to be in in any type of problems or be pressured, it's going to be in this fight. You know, Jose Lopez is going to be coming in to give it all he motherfucking got. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This is Quetzalcoatl. Signing the fuck on now.